We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. <laughs> Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and we are still at Daniel Vitalis' house and we are having an awesome time here. And um, we just started to pick up um, some new products that Daniel is into and um, I was hoping you could maybe share them with us. Yeah, well I've been really excited for the last few months about um, Sir Thrival and the product line there. Um, because there are certain things as a student of health and as an educator in the health food world, there are certain things that I've come across that I don't find very easily treated with food or with cleansing. There's certain things that um, are more hormonal in nature or have to do with how we were born and raised. And I've, I've been looking for specific products to really um, target some of those things. So a few of the products that you see here are just things that I've really fallen in love with and things that actually I sourced out and took some time to find. Um, this deer antler product is um, probably the most potent um, hormonal adaptogen product that I've ever come across. Deer antler is a product with um, about 3,000 years of history in Chinese medicine. And not just the Chinese, but also the Japanese, also the Koreans, um, and even actually the Russians as well, who call it the horns of gold. It's been used for a very long time as a very potent medicine. Why would somebody take Deer antler, like what's the what's the what's so good about it? Like what does it do for the body? Well, if you can imagine the earth a few thousand years ago and how the medical systems worked at that time before left brain reasoning, before um, the modern scientific paradigm, people would learn uh, from observing nature. That's how they would determine what to use, what would be good for you. Uh, the Chinese observed for a long time the deer, and when we look through the Chinese longevity um, history or through their their teachings and writings, remember the Chinese more than any other culture really did master the idea of longevity. The Taoists pretty much mastered that idea. And some of them were living very long periods of time. Well, they would observe their environment looking for the things that would create the elixir. They were looking for the elixir, the elixir of life. They were looking for the fountain of youth, if you will. And that's been a quest in many cultures. What they noticed, there was a unique thing about the deer that they would grow these large antlers in about three months and then at the end of the season they would fall off. A lot of people don't realize that moose, deer, caribou, reindeer, elk, those animals, the cervid animals, they um, actually grow and drop their antlers every year. So that's the only organ of a, uh, in a, the mammalian kingdom that completely regenerates. Uh, in other words, you know, if you cut off a limb of a mammal, it doesn't grow back. But somehow this organ system always grows back every year and it grows bigger every year as well. So um, that was really interesting to them because they were looking for a regeneration in their own body. So what they determined from watching that was that if that antler was regenerating, it must then contain something that causes regeneration. So the idea was if you could get that and turn it into a medicine, that you could use that property that was in it to regenerate yourself. Today we have um, the benefit of science and chemistry to understand a little bit about what's in the deer antler. And what we know is that it contains a very complex symbiotic balance of growth factors. Growth factors are things created in our own bodies, proteins in our own bodies, that we use to stimulate growth and repair and maintenance and regeneration. But as we age, the numbers or the, the levels of these different growth factors starts to taper off. So it's very interesting then if you can find a food that contains growth factors. Well, it turns out, of course, that the antlers contain tremendous amounts of growth factor during certain stages of their growth. So you may have noticed that in the summertime, if you see pictures of deer from the summertime, their antler isn't so pointed and sharp like this. And it doesn't look like bone. The way you can see, that's clearly a bone. Earlier in the season, this would be covered with a velvet and it would be soft and rounded at the ends and the whole thing would be pretty soft. Early in the season, in the springtime, the deer antler starts to crack through the skull, grows uh, covered in velvet, soft, and grows a, a couple centimeters a day. It's pretty amazing growth for a mammal. Grows and grows and grows. Eventually, at the end of the season, they scrape off against trees. They scrape the velvet off and this hardens into a bone. Once it's reached this stage, there's no more benefit, no medicine left in it. But when it's soft, if those antlers can be made into a medicine, you can actually absorb the growth factors yourself. That's been known for a long time. It's been done for thousands of years in China and Korea, and it's been done for almost a thousand years in Russia as well. So there's extensive history, and what we know is that it's a tonic. 
In other words, there's no negative property. You can never overdose on it. There's no toxic limit or toxic load. It only benefits the body. S there's been hundreds of studies done all over the world, and you can find all of this information on the survival.com website. You can find this information uh, just by Googling around deer antler studies, deer antler research. What you'll find is that deer antler as a medicine has been studied in China, in Korea, in Japan, in New Zealand, in Australia, in the States, in Europe. Actually, all over the world, studies have been done and all of them are conclusive. Deer antler causes regeneration of the body and in fact, it's probably the most valuable anti-aging tonic that's ever existed. It's probably the most valuable um, anti-aging substance on the earth. And that's obvious because what we're looking at is a mammalian organ that regenerates. If you want to regenerate yourself, if you want to stay youthful and young, it makes sense you'd want to eat something that contained the things that cause regeneration in mammals. And that's what deer antler is. So all of the deer antler is sourced from cruelty-free farms. That's important. Um, I couldn't guarantee that other deer antler products were done that way. In fact, most of them probably aren't. You can find other deer antler products. There's a lot of them available. The problem is that some of those farms really mistreat the animals. Some of those animals are eventually slaughtered for meat or are castrated. So we only work with cruelty-free farms who allow their animals to um, range freely and only the antler tips are used to make the medicine. Uh, that's a quality level that's not always easy to find out there in the marketplace, but was really important to us um, coming out of the raw food community, coming out of the vegan community. We wanted to make sure working with a product like this that we chose something that was um, not only the highest quality, but was also cruelty-free. Nice. I know um, David Wolf is into deer antler and stuff like that, and um, he mentions things like it has a lot of lysine in it. And he says that people that eat a lot of nuts or something, this is a good product to balance out the arginine yeah. or something. Something we were looking for too was how can you bring uh, an animal type product into the marketplace um, that wasn't for people who don't really eat animal products. How, how can we find the most potent thing that provides all of that stuff? Like you're mentioning lysine, actually a full amino acid spectrum, a full... Um, spectrum also, like I said, of growth factors and other type of proteins. How can you bring that in without bringing in a lot of animal food into someone's life? And what we arrived at was this, um, this extract, which is a very small amount, but enough to balance out some of the imbalances that get created on a diet, like you mentioned, high in nuts and things like that. Nice. So um, other things that you mentioned were um, people become quite virile on... <laughs> is, this, is this true? Classically, deer antler was an aphrodisiac, classically. And it's a very potent one because it stimulates the gonadal hormone systems. Um, that's, of course, the ovaries and the testicles. So throughout time, it's been used for both men and women to stimulate the sex drive. Keeping in mind, of course, that for the Chinese, the sex drive was an indicator of someone's overall health. In other words, they felt like if your uh, sex drive was low, your health couldn't be good the two were interlinked and inextricable. So they felt that that virility was a sign of how much chi or energy or prana was in somebody's body, how much life force. And they felt the more life force you had, the more virile you would become. Um, deer antler, though, is also used uh, by bodybuilders. It's used by athletes, and that's because it aids in recovery time tremendously. It causes the burning of body fat, it causes the building of lean muscle mass and lean body mass. It essentially reorients someone's entire constitution and metabolism, uh, turns the metabolism up, gets the body burning away old material, and gets the body rebuilding itself and restructuring itself. One of the things that I think is exciting about it is that it contains nerve growth stimulant factor which is really valuable because you may have been taught that nerves don't regenerate. Well, that's usually true, except in the presence of nerve growth stimulant factor, which actually causes nervous tissue to regrow. So for people who have old injuries, some of us are actually on a quest for deep, deep healing where we want to regenerate ourselves completely. Well, if you're going to do that, you need the sort of special elixir that has the stuff in it that causes regeneration. Deer antler causes the regrowth of bone, of joint material, of nerves, of skin, of cartilage, of all of the connective tissues. So essentially, if you're training or exercising or trying to rebuild yourself, if you're getting deep body work or doing deep cleansing, everything you need to rebuild your body from the ground up is either in or stimulated by deer antler. So recovery time. So that Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.